Okay, so I'm going to go over part three on the adding algebraic expressions. First, I'm going to review with you what algebra tiles are. So algebra tiles are used to represent algebraic expressions. We use tiles to represent the variables and the constants. So um, we have four tiles that we'll be consistently using for algebra. Um, so a yellow square represents a positive one and a red square represents a negative one. So the squares are the numbers or the constants and squares can be added together or combined or they can cancel out if you have positive one and negative one. That's a zero pair which cancels. And then we have the rectangles. So a green rectangle is positive x and a red rectangle is negative x. And again you can combine or add together all the rectangles separately and an Positive x and a negative x are zero pairs and they cancel out as well. So with that, let's go back. So these first four problems here all say to write an expression. Which expression matches the algebra tiles below? So I'm going to say actually write an expression. Write an expression that matches. And I'll fix that for all of them. The algebra tiles below. So first you're just going to count up the x terms. You have 1, 2, 3, 4 x. And then since you have rectangles and squares, you can't add them together. You can't end up combining them, so you're going to put a plus because you're not going to end up adding them, so you'll just leave it like that. And then we have 1, 2 positives, so plus 2. In this next one here, um, we have 1, 2, 3 x. But in this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 negatives. So you can either say plus negative 4, or remember, subtracting a positive number is the same thing as adding a negative. So you can just put minus 4, 3x minus 4. Um, in this problem here, you're going to cancel out any zero pairs that there are. So x and negative x, they cancel. So there's no more rectangles left. Um, and then I see a pair of squares that cancel and another pair of squares. So actually you end up with zero here because everything cancels. This last one, um, I see an x and a negative x, so both of those cancel. You're just left with one x. It's just best to write it as x though. And then I see a one and a negative one, they cancel. So you're left with plus one. And that's how you do it. Um, in these ones, it says to simplify. So the same thing, you're going to group together any x terms and square terms, so the um, constants, and then if you can cancel out, you can cancel out. But in this case, you can't cancel anything out, so I'm just going to count them all up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x. And then there's 1, 2, 3, 4 squares, then they're positive, so plus 4. This one, 1, 2, 3x. And you can either say plus the negative 3 because there's negative 3 squares. Or again, you can say 3x minus 3. Either of those is acceptable as an answer. Um, this one here I see uh, three red rectangles and they stand for negative x's. So that would be negative 3x. And I don't see any green rectangles so I know I can't cancel anything. And then I see 1, 2, 3, 4... Um, red square, so that's negative 4 for the number. And again, you can either write it like that, or you can say negative 3x minus 4. Same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's negative 4x, because there are negative 4x's total. Um, and then we got 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers, so it would be plus 4, because those are positive keep going here. These are the last two. And these ones you have to cancel stuff out. So um, I see one, two, and two that match, right? There's two green and two red uh, rectangles that I can cancel out. So I can cancel all those out. And I'm just left with the negative x. And then with the squares, there's definitely two negatives and two positives that can cancel. So all four of those cancel and you're just left with a plus one. And then we got here, um, it looks like we have two 
positive x's and two negative x's. So those four tiles cancel. So for the x part, it's going to be 0x, which is just 0 because 0 times anything is 0. And then we have 1, 2, 3, so negative 3. So that's actually just our answer is negative 3. You don't need to put 0 plus negative 3, just put negative 3. So if you end up canceling all the x terms, then you'll just have a number. If you end up canceling all the numbers, you might just have an x term, or you could end up with 0 like the problem up here. And then if you keep scrolling down, this, these problems all have solution videos. And then um, part four is, of course, challenge problems that are optional, and they have solution videos as well. And then we have four problems right here that all look similar, but they're a little bit different. Um, so it says to add them, and you don't have algebra tiles, so I want you to give your best shot um, at adding them together. Remember the negatives. So in this one, I don't have negatives, but in each of these, I have a negative piece to it. And remember one thing, that you're going to end up with some number x plus some number. You're not going to combine it as one big thing, like 50x. That's not correct. You're going to have a number a co a coefficient attached to the x for the x terms. You're going to have a certain amount of those. And then you're going to have a constant or a single number by itself. Okay. Good luck. Uh, try your best.